All right, the holidays are so much fun, but those long, busy days can also take a toll, especially for women, Renee. Uh, yeah, all that cooking, entertaining, shopping, uh, and more throws off our normal routines and can cause major stress, and that stress can make us more vulnerable to getting sick. Yes. Uh, do you want me to say this name? Sure. Dr. Tara Tara Shirazian. Dr. Taraj Razian is joining us live to help us keep our health on track this season. Do we I get your name sorry right? We want to apologize. I, I do apologize. Doctor, are you there? Hi there. Hi, I'm how Dr. are you? Razian. How are you? Nice. Can you hear us? I'm great. It was going in and out a little, okay. but now I can. Good. Well, we're happy to have you here. All right, so for many of us, stress is a daily issue. So why is holiday stress so much harder to manage? Well, during the holidays, it's really tough because many of us are visiting family or we're traveling. We have lots of stress in our lives because we're not getting enough sleep. We're going to holiday parties. And in general, we're consuming a lot of high sugar foods. Yeah. So all of this decreases our immune systems. So it leaves us very vulnerable to infection. Um, and so we really need to pay attention to our bodies and listen to our symptoms, you know, during the holidays. And Dr. Shirazian, and I hope I said that properly, um, what are some of the symptoms we need to look out for and what should we do to avoid them? <laughs> yeah, so I think two of the most common symptoms are actually just headache and fatigue. So many of us get persistent headaches during the holidays because of chronic stress and because of not getting enough sleep. And many of us feel run down and fatigued because we have so much to do and so little time to do it. So I think that with those symptoms and the immune system being down, women may also notice feminine discomfort and they may even ignore it, but it's a pretty common symptom during the holidays. And so if they do notice symptoms of discomfort, it's really important that they look at like a symptom checker. Monistat has a great symptom checker online where they can plug in their symptoms and look to see if they have a vaginal or yeast infection. Dr. Tarazian, you also say that we should avoid DIY solutions. Can you talk to us about that? Yes, I hear this every day in the office. You know, patients go on social media looking for answers. They go to Dr. Google and they put in their symptoms and ask, you know, him or her what, what it could be. And I think this is very dangerous because often we don't get the answers we need or the solutions we need. If you think you have symptoms of a vaginal or yeast infection, the best is to go to your local pharmacy. You can pick up a Monistat one, three or seven day treatment. It is a great treatment. It's been around for a long time. It, you don't need a prescription and it will help you take care of that yeast infection. All right, thank you for those tips. And actually, are there any other tips you can share to uh, help us ensure a seamless holiday season so that we can enjoy ourselves? Absolutely. So I think we just really need to be aware of how much stress we're under. So we want everyone to have a great holiday and enjoy time with family and friends. Please stay hydrated. Please get enough sleep. Please try and eat, you know, meals that are well balanced. Um, all of these things really help us feel our best in the holidays um, and allow us to enjoy the holidays the most. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Shirazi. We really appreciate it. And we know the holidays are so important and we want to be our best, feel our best, look our best and welcome in all of our loved ones. So we really appreciate your time this morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you need any more info, you can find it at monistat.com. Thank, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. it. Happy holidays. Thank you. All right.